Vodafone Big Top 40 with Marvin Humes. Uh, Hazel Hall wants to know, uh, can you speak any foreign languages? Yeah, I can speak a few. Um, yeah, I can speak a couple uh, languages, not amazingly, but uh, yeah, I try. Yeah, which is your your team. Oh no, we've lost our questions here. Oh, here you go. They're all right. This is come. Um, hey, it's Nick ninety eight. Wants to know which Union J show was the best one for you? It's really hard that one because there are a couple amazing shows. Um, I remember Manchester Apollo. Yeah, why like, do you remember that one? Uh, because Manchester is just always. It's just known for being like brilliant with music. Like the whole music scene in Manchester, everything about it, just mm-hmm. such a good vibe. Um, Cardiff. Yeah. Cardiff was amazing. Obviously, because that was like, that was an arena. That was a motor point arena. And that was like, oh, it's an arena. Did so you take me, a moment and look around? And just think, I was like, oh, ah. Wow. I remember last show was really good as well. That was in Birmingham. And that was the uh, NIA arena as well. And so, I don't know. I like the arenas because they're big. But mm-hmm. also, it's kind of, I guess, the vibe is different. Each show has its own different. Yeah. And like, you're, you're there you going it. on first, aren't you, as well? So you're getting yeah. the crowd, to, you know. Yeah, I like that. Up before they I go. like that. <laughs> uh, Catherine wants to know, what was the most embarrassing thing to happen on the Union J tour? Ooh, most embarrassing thing to happen. Oh, <clears throat> right. Oh, no. So. To you or to one I Union was J? in Nottingham. This, this, this one's for me. Okay. I was in Nottingham. Go on stage. Everything's going good. What's up, Nottingham? How you doing? Yeah. And then as I go off. Guys, don't forget to tweet, hashtag Elliot loves Newcastle. <laughs> and I actually said it. And before I went on, I was making a joke about how ages ago, my old band, we played a gig in Nottingham. And uh, one of the other guys in the band, he goes, what's up, Newcastle? And I made a joke about how he said that. So that was like playing on my mind the whole gig. Uh... And then, yeah, I get to stage and it was all good. And then I leave. I'm like, Newcastle and what run off. You I, did, I didn't even there. notice. Did I didn't notice. Fault. I said it until afterwards and backstage. And then um, my manager comes in and goes, yeah. And just lets me know what I did. I'm like, are you hiding in shame? And I was like, what are you on about? It's like, Newcastle. I was like, oh, no, did I? Uh-oh. And oh, then, well. I, then the tweet starts coming. You know, coming. for next time, you need to write it on your hand or something. Yeah, I'm usually good with it, though. Oh, it's your own fault. You put it out there before you went like out there. Like Bristol. I'm like Bristol. Pistol. That's it. I can remember <laughs> it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, right. Uh, AJ Templeton wants to know, uh, would you ever go on a show like I'm a Celebrity? <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, I'm a celebrity. I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe I would. Right now, I probably wouldn't. No, there's but no need. No. I mean, it might be fun, but I guess sometimes you do kind of weird things, don't you? Yeah, you have to, to eat things, you don't have, you? They always make you eat some form of testicle. Mm-hmm. And I don't... I don't, <laughs> I don't of a kangaroo. I guess it's funny, um, but I'm not really into eating bulls right now. <laughs> what about bugs and things like that? Uh, again, I, I would not... It's not like a like a dream of mine <laughs> to no? eat some insects, but, you know, mate, you never know. No, but what about them being on you and things like that? Are you good with spiders? Are you good with... Nah, like I'm not no? good with it. Like, if there's a spider in the corner of my room just chilling... That's cool. I feel like I've almost bonded with it. I feel yeah. like we have an understanding. You stay there, I'll stay here. <laughs> and we can both like just get on with what we're doing and it's cool. But when they move or they disappear, that's when I start to get a bit like... Yeah. I don't think you should go in the jungle. I don't think it's for you. I think it's Maybe some dancing instead. Uh, <laughs> Chelsea uh, Yamoni wants to know, uh, what was it like recording the music video for Do It All Over Again? It was really cool. Like It was my first proper music video. So I was not really prepared in the sense like I had no idea what to expect no. but like when I got there it was really cool it was wicked like I liked I liked just the whole vibe I liked like the amount of cameras there were I was like whoa I was just excited for what it's going to turn out like you're like these are all for me yeah and I think uh, <laughs> definitely second video yeah. we're going to step it up we got to make it even more amazing what are you going to do in it I don't know do you have any ideas? No. Oh, you haven't heard the song yet? No, I haven't. No, so we can't really tell. You've got to but pick your babes, though, to be in it. Your leading lady and stuff like leading that. Leading lady. Maybe maybe I will get you. <laughs> maybe I get Marvin. <laughs> get Marvin in. He's really good at that. He's winning them already. Uh, totally Amy wants to know, uh, what superpower do you wish you had? Ooh. Uh, time travel would be wicked. Well, that's a good but answer. imagine being able to fly, though. I know it's a cliche one, but flying would be amazing. But I guess maybe if I could time travel, maybe I could go to the future where people can fly or they have machinery to fly with. Yeah. I take that and 
Hoverboards next year, apparently. It's really? 2015. Yes, yeah, so we're not far. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I'm the J Cat. Wants to know what inspired you to become a singer. Well, I'm a J Cat. Um, it was it was the J Cats that inspired <laughs> me. Um, <laughs> what inspired me? Um, it really was just music itself. There's nothing else really. It was just when I was about six, I bought bought my first two albums, and um, after that, I was like, wow, I need I need what to do this. What albums were they? It's a band called Good Charlotte. It's their first album. And Nirvana, no. and that, and it wasn't being a singer as such, which was like what I wanted to get into. It was more just music. I knew, like whether I was going to be an artist or whatever, I knew that I always wanted to do music and I wanted to write music. So yeah, yeah, I just kind of always kind of worked towards that. Okay, Caitlin wants to know what's the naughtiest thing you did as a child, and uh, did you ever get caught? Well, I did some pretty naughty things. You don't like, like you're a naughty kid. I was a naughty kid, like the naughty <laughs> step. Even the naughty step couldn't handle me, but. um yeah, I did some bad things. I mean, I was naughty. But what did you do? I remember even when I wasn't a child, when I was about 14, I remember a big, big one for me was pulling my trousers down in front of a head teacher. <laughs> it's a woman head teacher <laughs> oh, yeah. as well. I don't know why I did it. It just felt right at the panic? time. It, it wasn't like a, no a dirty thing. It was just like, <laughs> it was just, it's just like, I was like, you know what, this is happening. And I undid my belt and I went, hey, and I pulled him down just into and my boxes. And then realised what you'd done. The look on her face, yeah. Like I got, I got in, I got in trouble. But the funny thing was, I was excluded for two days from school. But my mum and dad, like, they tried to be serious and they told me I was stupid and they told me I was an idiot and everything. But they actually, I'd go upstairs to my room and I could hear them laughing. They, yeah. Everyone found it funny. Even like a couple of years later, I became good friends with a head teacher. We used to hang out and like drink tea and stuff, and <laughs> in extra maths lessons, and um. Yeah, she 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 was laughing about it. She she knew it was hilarious. Uh, Amy Stevenson wants to know what toppings do you have on your pizza? Oh, uh, banana. Uh, <laughs> can, you, can you imagine gross. that? No, you know what? Recently, I've been going for kind of like a plain like cheese and tomato. I'm not really that kind of guy, though. Um, I like recently r the last pizza I ordered was probably, I think it was a bit spicy. Yeah, and I think it had bits of chicken on it. Lovely, nice. Yeah. Paulina wants to know, how do you like your sandwiches? She's going to make you a packed lunch. Oh, yeah, I know. This is on Be careful, because um, all the foxes will turn up with all these sandwiches now. So pick yeah, wisely. I know. It varies though, doesn't it? It's like, what song do you want to listen to? Well, it depends what mood you're in. Mm. Um, I do like a chicken and bacon. Okay, so today it's chicken and bacon. Yeah. Uh, e, -do e Doodle 12 wants El to know... Dude. El, El, El Doodle. Doodle. Yeah, El Doodle. Do you know El Doodle 12? El Dude is my like YouTube name. Ah, I see. That's what I used to call myself. El Doodle like 12 wants to know, uh, would you ever have a fragrance? <laughs> and if you did, what would you call it? I would call it Scent of Fox. Oh, what would that smell like? <laughs> my natural body odour. Because <laughs> it's such a sweet and... aroma. <laughs> Lovely. Take a whiff, baby. Oh. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what I'd call it. I wouldn't call it Scent of Fox because that would probably give a wrong impression. I don't mm. think anyone would buy it. Um, uh, I don't know. Well, I don't know what it would smell like. I think it would smell... It'd be for girls. If it would be for a girl. What do you this like confuses me. Now, this does confuse me. I haven't smelt Bieber's or Wandy's fragrances. Right. So I can't really tell what it should be like. Why would you just go off what theirs smell well, like? Is I, that what you no, mean? I, I would think it's not my scent. It's a scent. Re, would, really, would it be a scent that I would like on a girl? Is that basically well, what, what that, it is? That's what the fans are hoping it would be. When they okay. buy it, they're hoping that the, that would be. They're wearing the scent that you I like, would love I like, on a girl. I like a sweet, sweet smell on a girl. Sweet smells. I like yeah. sweet smells. Yeah. Okay, so that would be a sweet smelling. Like one. A, a, a slightly strawberry, but not like tacky, not cheap smelling. Like like a like a candy, like a slight nice hint. So you smell it and you're like, hmm, what's that? There you go. Maybe it'll you. happen. Who it's knows? Like, Carla I'm, Langley I'm wants to you. know, uh, do you have any other hobbies uh, than singing? Um, yeah. Um, playing guitar. Yeah. Um, playing piano. Yeah. Writing music. Um, I like I like uh, drawing. Recently been getting back did into you? it. I used to love drawing and animation and stuff. That's what I wanted to be doing if I wasn't doing music. So lately I've been getting back into that. You could do like a, a book. You could do a kid's illustration. Book. Yeah. I'd love to do it like a kid's book. That's mm. sick. I, I always thought that that there would be go. someone I'd love to do. I only take twelve percent, so that's fine. That's I'm fine. Yeah. It. <laughs> um, Hannah wants to know what are you most excited about for the year? Ah, oh, everything. I think it's like the next couple singles. Um, this obviously the first single. Yeah, this will just, be a moment that you remember forever, won't it? Yeah, definitely. Exciting. Just 
Yeah. Do you I know think, what's think happening for the next year? Do you have like a schedule or there's is it not like, like a specific schedule okay. or anything, but like we have obviously a, a plan like with the album, like I'm just really excited to get the album together and I like I made this when and is it out? Uh, we haven't got a date yet, but it's looking to be sort of summer. Oh, summertime. maybe ju- maybe early summer. That's still quite soon though, isn't it? Yeah. And definitely. then are you touring as well? Are you doing Yeah, like I, mean, I can't say too much on it, but it definitely got some well, stuff planned. Then. No, go yeah. on, tell us. We've what? got some great things planned. Yeah. Like touring and stuff, yeah. Okay, brilliant. Um Poppy wants to know what's your favourite YouTube video that you've done? All that I've done. Um I've done a few. <laughs> I think it might maybe it's my Bruno Mars cover. I did a cover of When I Was Your Man and Treasure. And I liked that because that was like the first more professional sort of video I did. Like, because obviously a lot of them were in my bedroom. Yeah. And that was the first where I kind of stepped it up a little bit and did it a bit kind of more studio environment. I just wanted to try it out. Yeah. Like, because I was working a lot in my studio and I just asked if we could like set it up and record a cover. And he's like, oh, fine. <laughs> and yeah, so I think that is probably that or it's my cover of Payphone. Okay. Yeah. 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 Do you look back on any of them and think, oh, why did I do that? Um... Nah, no, no, because I felt good at the time. Okay, good. They're Don't all regret there. anything. They're all there forever. Exactly. Um, Kieran B wants to know. Oh, they want to know when. When can we expect the album? You said summertime, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, Phaser George wants to know who do you look up to in the music industry? Um, Bruno Mars, yeah. definitely. He's Have you like, met him? huh? Have you met him? No. Bruno, what are you doing, man? Come on, come on, show your face. Uh, I would love to meet Bruno Mars. He's like such a big inspiration to me like in every way like as an artist a musician a songwriter i think he's just like a bundle of talent <laughs> in every way you can imagine so we'd be love to know that he's a bundle of talent he's a bundle of talent <laughs> he's a bundle of joy bruno uh doi emily wants to know uh, what was the highlight of 2013 Ooh, uh the ones in my hair hey <laughs> <laughs> you sit there in foils <laughs> no <laughs> um um, I, ha- I have done that. I have done in the past. <laughs> I used to have like an emo fringe. I used to have like a blonde streak. Did and you I, used to I do it yourself? A, uh, I tried a couple of times. Didn't work out. I, I, I once tried to cut my own hair. <laughs> it was just like chop, chop, chop. It was like blocks everywhere. What did you think it would just look a bit messy? You just thought I, could I thought I just thought it looked cool. I mean, I was having a bit of an emo face. So, <laughs> um, what's my highlight of 2013? There's there's been a lot of good things happening. Uh, I guess I could say. It was probably it was going on tour of Union J. Yeah. Even though it was right at the end, I think that was all I'd wanted to do, like just tour, just be playing shows because it's been so long I've been in the studio and kind yeah. of locked myself away for a while. It's giving you a taste of it. Yeah, but What's finally, finally getting out there. Yeah. Okay. Um, Lauren wants to know where was your favourite tweet and greet? Ooh. That's hard. I've done a good. Uh, I think maybe the Manchester one recently was one of my favourites. I did really like the Nottingham one I did as well. But I like the Manchester one because that was probably one of the biggest ones I did. And it was really cool. How many to, people were there? I don't know. There's, there's definitely like a few hundred. Wow. And like, yeah. And I didn't expect that at all. So. Do you have to stay in, until you've met everyone? Um, well, we tried. I mean, like, I go there and I just take photos of anyone that really asks. And I, it's really, I just go down there and play some songs. Okay. And, yeah, it's kind That's of a nice. cool way to say, it's hey. nice thing to do. Just when I'm in the town, like, doing something. Hey, like, guys, I'm here. Come hang. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Emily Andrew wants to know, your surname is Fox, but what animal would you say you're most like? That's difficult. A couple of people have said I am do slightly resemble a fox. I'm not sure if that's an insult or a compliment. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, it's a hard one. I don't know. I used to think I look like a meerkat. <laughs> I'm just putting that out there. All right, what would you say you are? Me? Yeah. I don't know. Never really thought about it. A seahorse. Mm. <laughs> it's not an animal, maybe. is it? Maybe. It's a sea creature. What would you say I am? Yeah, maybe a seahorse. Yeah, I'm a seahorse. Maybe a rhino. A rhino? <laughs> cruel. Uh, Rach wants to know how weird is it hey, seeing. Hey, Rach. Hey, Rach. That's your... over there. You can say hey. Um, Rach wants to know how weird is it seeing yourself on TV and hearing yourself on the radio? Okay, you want to know something? Yeah. I've not actually seen myself on TV what? at all. Other than uh, when I was watching a TV show which I did a performance on, but I it was live, but I was on I was like on I was doing something. I think I was on radio tour. I was on my way back, and I watched it like on an app, a TV app on my phone. So I don't feel like it counted. Oh. Um. But yeah, I've hearing myself on the radio is crazy. And you've heard your song on the radio. How was that when you first heard it? Yeah, that was that was like the first time I was like, 
it felt weird. Like I yeah. couldn't explain it. I think I kind of got used to it after a while. It kind of became like, oh, cool, it's on. But to start with, I was it was all just like, what really? Did it really? sound different just because it was on? The it radio? did. It sounded different, which is weird. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's the same song. It's like, is this me? <laughs> um, Mary Goldsmile wants to know if you could be a girl for the day, keep it clean as well. What would you do? Uh, I would keep myself clean. Good. I would. <laughs> <laughs> I want to smell good. Um, uh, if I was going for a day, what would I do? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I would do maybe girly things, but would I want to? It depends. What sort of girly things? Brush your hair. I'd brush my hair. I'd do, I'd, I'd do something crazy. Oh, God. Oh, it sounds like a disaster. <laughs> I, I don't think I'll be able to... I think it's too much stress for it me. It is. It's quite stressful being a girl. Don't bother. Leave it, I'd oh, say. I, I don't think I could, yeah. Okay, cool. Olivia Shelley wants to know, who's your celebrity crush and why? Oh, that, that seems to change every week for me. Who is it this um, week? This week, I did have someone good. Uh, I think... It's always someone good. It wouldn't be someone bad, would it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's so difficult. You know what? I'm not going to lie. I'm going to put this out there. I did see a picture of Talisa earlier. Oh, yeah. And you know what? I don't know. She's looking good. She's looking She's incredible. Looking She's looking good. Yeah, there I'm you looking, go. That's what I'm saying. Then. She's looking good. Uh, uh, Rochelle wants to know, if you could be a cartoon character, who would you be and why? I am a cartoon character. <laughs> um, if I could be a cartoon character. I used to like, wish I was Bart Simpson when I was yeah. younger. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I can but see I think, you being bad. I think I think it's it's a hair. Yeah. And being <laughs> naughty. I think um I'm very naughty. Mm. I think now I'm more of a homer. <laughs> you know, I just <laughs> sit around burping with, with a belly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. If that's what you want to do. Uh let's have an another one here. Oh, Sophie Collings wants to know I mean, I think you pretty much answered this one, but who do you want to be as big as? Um uh I don't know. It's kind of hard when you say I want to be as big as. Obviously, I'd love to be known as much as possible. Like you'd, I'd love to be as big as Bruno Mars is, mm -hmm. someone like that, because I look up to them. But I don't know. I don't think I don't think I like to compare myself to other people because I think if in general, I don't think anyone should compare themselves to others because that way you'll always be thinking, why am I not like them? Why people am I are not? always comparing you to Bieber, aren't they? Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? I mean, I mean, it's not a bad thing for sure because like. I think it's going to happen. I'm young and I'm making pop music mm -hmm. and it's always going to happen. People are going to compare to others as much as they can. But, you know, I don't think I'd want to be as big as Bieber or I wouldn't want to be. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, it, I, I don't really think about it. Okay. I just think I want to do my own thing and just try and be as successful and get as much support as I can. Okay. Um, Miss, uh, Miss Smiley 200 wants to know, what's the most awkward experience you've had with your parents? <laughs> um, oh god I've had a few go on what uh, was that one that you just remembered then that made you say that <laughs> couldn't say that That's too, uh, um, there's been there's been a couple I think I think I think maybe there was one where I was in my bedroom and I had uh, I, I think I was with a girl I don't think it was anything bad it was nothing bad major going on but when was I I think I think I was 16 and yeah, there was a girl. It's a bit of me. snogging. A bit of snogging going on. And because obviously I live at home, I close my door, but my parents have no <laughs> privacy. They don't understand privacy. And I put a guitar case in front of my door. Yeah, that'll so, do it. So they'll open it and realise no, it's not opening or it'll fall down. And, make and it happened and it fell down. And my dad came in and just closed it and walked downstairs. <laughs> I think that was, that was enough said. Wow, really is enough said. Uh, what would you be doing if you weren't an artist? That's Daniel W. <clears throat> um, well, I'd probably want to be an artist, like an, an actual artist. An artist. actual Yeah, because like, I'd love to be like an illustrator. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Um, Kieran Lamontho. Good name. Uh, wants to know, one word to describe us foxes. Uh, one word. I can't. I don't want to make it generic and say amazing, Foxy. Hey, <laughs> see that? That's how generic that is. Um, uh, what shall I call it? I'll call it unconditional. Unconditional. I don't know. Did I'm you just see that? Are you just reading things? Unconditional. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm. I'm trying to think uh, because like they're really supportive and they're, they're like supportive then. Uh, 
a supportive is so generic for her. It's nice though. It's nice it is nice, yeah. They're very, very supportive. Okay, we'll go with that. Thank you. And for Lucy this. finally wants to know how are your cats? My cats are great. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Oscar, if you're watching. <laughs> you they're really watch cool. Now, though. Can they log on? Maybe. They know what they're doing with the computer. They're probably like. <laughs> with their paws. <laughs> <laughs> my cats are great they're always great but Charlie Charlie came in last night really scared and ran Charlie's Charlie's a bit of a moody teenager right now oh. Oscar's like loving life <laughs> and um, Charlie came in and his belly was wet and he smelled like lavender okay that's that's quite weird <laughs> I, I, I'm like has someone taken you into the house and washed you or <gasps> did you like fall into the pond and run through a lavender bush or something I don't know what so, is I think I might have to, to get like Sherlock Holmes involved I think you need to put a little camera on and see what it gets up to. That is like an amazing... How, oh, mm. wow. How do you reckon it might be expensive? No. Cat cam. <laughs> yeah, do a cat Call cam. Call it meow cam. Yeah, meow cam. I like that. Okay. Brilliant. Well, we're going to go in there and we're going to see where your single gets to today. Ooh. Good luck. Are you excited? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I am excited. Okay, brilliant. Nervous. Well, thank you for today. And if you want to watch it back, you can. You can watch it back later. Bigtop40.com. Thank you very much, Elia Fox. Hey, thanks for having me thank on. Thank you. See ya. The Vodafone Big Top 40 with Marvin Humes.